Earlier this evening, at afternoon, at approximately 3.35 p.m., officers, officers from our downtown area command responded to a suspicious person call at the 800 block of Cyril's. The initial details indicated that there was a male who appeared to be unresponsive on the south sidewalk of Cyril's Avenue, East Las Vegas Boulevard, and that there was a large pool of blood around him. Our officers arrived on the scene very shortly after, and upon arriving on scene, they located uh, a, what appears to be a white male in his 30s or 40s. He appears to be unhoused, and he had a large amount of blood around his upper torso and head area. As officers provided their initial medical attention to him, they immediately uh, confirmed he was unresponsive, and he did appear to have a stab wound. Based on those details, medical arrived here on scene shortly thereafter and unfortunately did pronounce him, uh, him deceased. My homicide detectives have responded. We've taken over this scene and in this investigation. And we'll be out here for the next few hours as we continue to process this scene and canvas the area for any additional video surveillance and or witnesses. That is, unfortunately, the preliminary details I have for you right now. It's very limited at this time. We don't have anybody who witnessed an initial act. All I know is the details I've already provided you. My victim is a male, appears to be a white male in his 30s or 40s, appears to be unhoused in this area. Um, as you know, there are several businesses up and down uh, Anderson Dairy. I encourage anybody who is coming to work or leaving from work, people who live in, uh, east of this area that maybe use this as a thoroughfare. If you witness anything sometime around the area of 3.30 p.m. to today uh, and you witnessed a fight or anything on the south sidewalk of Cyril's Avenue, please let us know. Uh, you can reach out to us by contacting the LVMPD Crime Stopper, uh, LVMPD Homicide Section, or reaching out through Crime Stoppers of Nevada. With that, I'll take any additional questions you may have. So it doesn't appear to have been any altercation between the victim and multiple or one I, I don't think we're at a point in our, in, in our case uh, the, to where we can determine any of that right now. The information we have is just we have a male who appears to be stabbed. Uh, and he's and he's uh, lying unconscious on the ground. We don't have any prior reports of an altercation prior to this. Uh, that will be all part of our investigation. Uh, I think the complexion of this investigation will change dramatically in the next few hours as we continue to canvas the area and look for a video surveillance. No suspect? We have no leads uh, of anything at this point in time. Just in case anyone tried to make a connection between this and the incident at Rancho, which is just down the street from here, is there anything leading you to believe that the two events are connected? Rancho is just easier. It's, it's a ways east of here. Uh, but no, I have no indication that it, it is not, uh, like I said, it's a male 30 to 40s, but not of high school age or anything in this area. The original call was someone who was reporting the body being found, or was there another, that, that was what they were calling about? It? Pretty much that's what they're reporting. It just came out as a suspicious person call, really what they were reporting, that a male was unresponsive on the ground with a bunch of blood around them. Do you know and, how many homicides this victim for the year? Uh, I don't. I, we can discuss that another time. Um, I was going to say determining factors to why they were unhoused or how you made that determination that they were unhoused. Uh, we're going based on clothing and, and uh, they don't appear to be someone who works. There's a couple of businesses there here on the north side. We doesn't appear to be an employee from over there. Uh, this area does have and is known to have some unhoused population. So it does appear to be someone who is unhoused. All right. Thank you very much everyone. I appreciate it.